We got a several boxes and won't forget we got this military trunk and duffel bag. Ooh, look at that, American flag. Okay. Clifford J. Eichhardt. Sydney Connor, Lieutenant Commander, USNR19. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are back here at this military unit. Once again, $5,500. Been an exciting week. If you missed my live and a part of a vlog the other day, we had an amazing score. Don't forget to check out that video. We still have all of this stuff here to go through. It's quite ridiculous. Intriguing and fun all at the same time. All this right here, military, military, military. With that being said, on with the show. No. We got a several boxes and won't forget we got this military trunk and duffel bag. Ha <laughs> ha, right off the bat. I love that saying. We got a lot of Russian hats. I don't think that's the year because that does not seem like a 1991, but I don't know because I am not an expert. Another Russian hat. Can we see these? 40, oh, maybe that's 56, maybe. See, what's the real difference here, okay? Okay, let's see right here, right off the bat, you can see, this is newer. You can just see by the red stripping, the way it's seamed together, the material, definitely older. Ooh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, this is way different. And this is a 56 too. So this right here obviously means somebody was a little more significant. You can tell by the badge, same ribbon, but it's red. Interesting. It's got somebody's name in there. That always makes it worth more value. All right, shout out to Russia. You got a lot of stuff in my box here. We got somebody's MP prescription. Ooh, not quite digital, but I like the colors. Large regular. Right? No, no, no. Ooh, another one. What do we got here? What? Why do we have so many Russian hats? Anybody out there in Russia wants to buy a bunch of Russian stuff? I got you. Shout out to this sleeve. I don't know if you know what this goes to. Let me know. We can put that on... Uh, our little dummy we got coming out here. Oh, look at that. Love the helmets. Nice. Got an idea for that. Set that aside. Frank Smith. A duffel bag. Look at how many duffel bags we have. These are all like 15 to 20 bucks. Every time you see me at the duffel bag, know that it's 15 to 20 bucks. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that number. I've been told some of the numbers mean something. So, James O. Douglas, thank you for your service, and I appreciate you. These are all my heroes. Every one of the people that these belong to are my heroes. Soviet World War II. Of office service junior officer khaki with royal blue and blue headband cat mark 57 number they have it up for 20 bucks i highly doubt that is 20 dollars look at this hat oh it's got somebody's name this is definitely world war ii era you could see by the stitching the type of material the stitching the material and stitching you can tell by this i can always tell when it's old material you just you just know experience speaks with that Often I portray myself as being rather unknowledge, but the fact is when you're doing stuff like this, you don't want everybody to think you know everything. Why? Because then they copy you. E pluribus unum. This is nice. Those are like scrambled eggs that Matthew taught us, but I think they're a little bit better. LTC Russell E. Bankson. Thank you for your service. That's probably World War II maybe. Ooh, look at that American flag. Nice. This is vintage too. It's it's a shame because I oh look at the stitching on these stars. 
It's a shame that we don't know how to track down each flag because each one of those flags like folded like that generally represents somebody who gave their life or his life is passed for serving our country. That is a long projectile dispenser case. Whew, we got a purse. Hand, oh wow, that is actually military. Look at that. That is not a Chanel or anything. That is just your standard military purse. That is nice. Aircraft engines restricted. CP pilot rating book. That's cool. U.S. submarine attacks during World War II. Good book there. We got pepper spray. Mm, little, oh, okay. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like maybe a yearbook type thing. Yep, see? For that squadron. Shout out to them. Senior pilot log. Look at that. Is this military? Bollinger, Texas. All right. Naval manual for operational planning. Okay, we don't want anybody knowing about our submarine operations. Hazardous material handbook. Great, that's what you want to see. Anything else in here exciting? A baseball, plastic bag, weatherproofing, and we'll put the books back. And we got this gem right here. Look at that. That is neat. I have no idea. It's got a rolled rim, welded handles, it's very rusted. There was obviously a tag right there at some point. I and mean, then it's got a sticker or a painting. It's not a painting, it's too perfect. No? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a decal. Let me know if you know what this one's about, please. I need all the help I can get. Like I've been saying on this stuff, I don't know most of these things individually. Okay, we have, that's a neat flag. Is this religious or is this a country? Maybe it's just um, Red Cross? Oh no, I'm probably gonna get yelled at in the comments. Pirate, you don't know what that flag is, dude? How dare you call that Red Cross? I don't know. I'm sorry. But I will speak my mind. Criticism taken personally free. We don't worry about that. So if you want to yell at me in the comments, go ahead. World War II US $5. I feel like that is worth a little more than $5. Whoever's pricing this stuff back in the day, you need to get a clue. U.S. Army. Nice. We got a boot. Look at the size of this thing. 13 and a half. Good lordy. Another duffel bag. This looks like a parachute duffel bag, the size of it. Could be wrong. Could be right. Let me know what you think. Desert Storm. Bald Eagle. Military camp. Goes on a helmet. Flying Fortress B-17. Who would like to fly one of those? We have this fly over to flea market a lot in Concord. Another duffel bag. It's ridiculous how many duffel bags we have. Why can't everything just be in uh, Paul? Paul Olheiser. Shout out to you, buddy. I appreciate you and thank you for your service. Richard L. Buzz. All right, another military bag. Thank you, Richard Buzz, for your service. And one more duffel bag. Who is on this? Nobody. All right, I can't show my patronage on this one because there's no names. All right, Clifford J. Eichhardt. Oh, I'd also like to thank my lovely assistant here today, ladies and gentlemen, that is my assistant. She has been helping me. She's kind of quiet, but she does a good job. Ooh, I like this one. This is Vietnam era, I think. Who is calling me? Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, look, it's Alex. Hold on, we have to talk to Alex. Hi, Alex. What's up, Michael? Did I interrupt your recording? Uh, you, you, I am recording, but you're live and I'm filming uh, myself talking to you with the world, so. Say hello to the whole, Holy say hello to the whole world. Hello, whole world. All right. <laughs> I'm going to call you back. I 
All right, business is done. Hope everybody said hello to Alex. I think this is Vietnam era. Let me know. Don't eat me up in the comments. I'm just, ooh. Somebody did not take care of this American flag. That annoys me. We have a 31 bag. We have white handkerchiefs and a dirty American flag here. Let's do this a little better. Probably not the best way to fold them up. I know I'm not a flag expert, but I would like it to be a little bit better and not dirty. We have liners. We have, ugh, ugh. What, is, what do we have there? Throw this away. Oh, holy hell. Damn it. I can't show that. That has lightning bolts on it. This was nice for resale purposes. This was German military, but look what the moths have done to it. That would have been money, believe it or not. Dang, that patch right there is worth bucks if it can still be saved. Still throwing it on the ground. Nasty, dang it. That was a good one. Jersey flight deck. That was the first real German. That's Navy. I don't even want to touch inside of here now. Do not press. I am pressed now. That was disgusting. Apparently moss like German clothing because they went with that stuff. And we have a, I haven't found one of these yet. That's neat. <laughs> Express, it's like a, a Forever 21 clothing there. Somebody does a horrible job of loading their stuff up. Military shirt. Let's just dump everything out here. I'm disgusted by this one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Debbie, showtime. Military pants, military pants. Interesting shirt. Citizen soldier. Ooh, this is kind of cool. We haven't found one of these. What just touched me? We haven't found one of these. This is like a parachute outfit. Coverall, I think this is for parachuting. I could be wrong, size smallish. And that is it for this duffel bag. Okay. All right, Sydney Connor, Lieutenant Commander, USNR 190904-7432 million, 463. Okay, I'm just kidding, it was 190904. But anyway, on with the show. What do we have in this that's neat. That's a good belt. You can hold all your, I think your magazines go in there maybe, no? It's upside down. Okay, nice. Then we have some pants, trousers. Okay, nothing special. And a duffel bag. I have so many duffel bags. Gotta have at least a hundred military duffel bags. says five dollars on it i don't believe that that's true there's a nice military jacket Ooh, what we got coming here nice this thing is a little tattered the outside of it reminds me of the jacket that uh rambo wore if you guys watched rambo first blood part first blood part one i forget how that goes one of my favorite movies when i was a kid reminds me of the jacket he showed up in the town wearing nice patch there that's very old Another one of them. Ooh, we have black satin, and it just says SNS. All right. J. A. Crawford, 2nd MR Division, Camp Lejeune. Shout out to you 
appreciate your service and thank you. Nice, another canteen. This is like World War One. Let's see. Let's see what I learned. No, World War Two. I'm so awful at this. 1943 volt. Because this material, maybe this is the material for the World War One. I, I could have swore the other day when Alex Storage talking to somebody just called. I found us a couple of these. Whoo! I like it. Once again, we got a front seam. I'm unsure of how to. I, I keep forgetting how to remember if it's front seam is World War Two or after World War II. Don't see any military markings, or year markings, I should say. Nice helmet, though. Very old, has the original liner. Ooh, we have a decal. Wonder what that means. It's painted, that's good, I like that. What is that one? Interesting. See, they weren't often allowed to paint on the outside, I think. So they paint on the inside. They like doing that. Nice, 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 nice. And look at this. It's not live. 57.6 MI and 6 PR 7 count drill cartridge M22. Look at that bad boy. It just has a P on it. <laughs> that is nice. I got so many of these, it's not even funny. Wow. All right. Man, the stuff just keeps coming, guys. More and more, salute to our military. Shout out to you. You give us these freedoms, I'll say it again and again. Bless you. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to make these silly videos and y'all author would not be able to sit here and watch these silly videos. I think we're doing pretty good money-wise. I'm not an expert on this. If you have any knowledge you can help me to direct to a period for each item, whatever it is, please let me know. And uh, love y'all. Thank you for watching.